Find yourself a little time. So just let's go down. So 4 threes scheduled here at Super Bantamweight. Ibi Nadim under the charge of Ricky Hatton in the black trunks trim with gold as his remaining opponent, Stefan Nikolai, lands a right hand straight over the top. Hatton's gym about to get very, very busy with the announcement of Billy Joe Saunders securing the Canelo Alvarez fight imminent we believe to be confirmed but of course Ben Davis and Ben basing himself out of that gym Josh Taylor there now too real talent in that gym and that will really uh, spur on Ibn Nadim in his quest to reach the top as well if it gets announced I'm putting it out there I'm going Billy Joe Saunders are you really <laughs> you're really having a go here uh, Nikolai isn't he Oh, really good to see the away corners yeah. all, all coming out good swinging. Jab. Good jab there from the Dean. Lovely shot. He's from Kylie in Bradford, former Berry ABC man, as is Scott Quigg, our hometown headliner this evening. Really looking to trade both of them, aren't they? Good little right hand there, stumbled Nikolai. It was a good shot. The team looking just to let his hands go. So is Nikolai's good, good opening round so far. It is indeed. I've just been corrected in my ear. It's Keith Lee in Bradley. I do apologise. Anybody watching? I'm from way, way down south. <laughs> I'm sure they'll let you off. There's almost a language barrier. It's that far away. <laughs> <laughs> so if he has just trying to pull free of the clinch there. Hatton said he likes to work in close and try and open his opponents up. He hasn't done that quite yet, but, uh, well, if anyone was the master at opening people up and oh, finding gaps yeah. up close, it was Ricky Hatton. Absolutely. I think he's going to be in some good fights, Nadim, from what I'm seeing here. You know, he's look, always looking to exchange lever. I think his style will gel with others. Other exciting fighters, but, yeah, good stuff. Needs to get behind that jab again. Set everything up for that. Oh, a good right hand there from Nikolai. Just not quite finding range with his feet so far. And the Dean no. to get me a little bit closer before he throws the jab in the right hand. That was a little bit better that time. But Nikolai's making it messy. He is. Making it easy, winging in shots from outside the peripheral vision, low and high too. Again, talking about the feint earlier, I think that would be a good move for, for Nadim here. Try and get Nikolai to, to load up with these big hooks and then find, you know, take that little step back and land your counters. But you're right, he hasn't really found his range yet with his footwork. Staying in close quarters a bit, a little bit too long. Oh, long glancing, looping overhand right there from Nikolai. Just glanced the temple of Ibi Nadim. Luckily, didn't land with too much force as round one comes to a close. Went a great deal in there, was there really? Um, impressed with uh, Nikolai, ambition, really letting some big shots go. Nadim in patches there was working well behind the jab, showing good variation, but just not moving enough, just staying in range a little bit too long. I'm getting caught with some silly shots. You shouldn't be really getting caught with them big wild shots from from Nikolai. You know, really does throw them from a long way out. It should be easy to see, but I think that's just a, a case of, of yeah, staying in the distance too long. He just needs to slide out of range. But I think he'd be pleased to get that opening round out of the way and get get to work in this second round. Yeah, just a little bit tense, perhaps, in that opening round, which is understandable. He's a young man, and well, there's not a huge amount of people here, but there was people watching. Back on that jab, then Ibn Nadim starts it's a round two. Jab. It's a really, really nice jab. It's just needed, like I say, try and draw that lead out. There you go, see. You can make him fall short, Nikolai. We couldn't hear what Ricky Hatton was saying in the corner, but could just see the way he was gesturing with his hands to get in, trigger him, and get out again. Get I think out. that was what he said to him, and already good to see that his charge is starting to try and make those adjustments. Absolutely. It's better just getting in and then not holding his feet too long. 
This is better stuff, yeah. Working behind the jab, like so taking the little step back, making Nikolai fall short. That's that's better work. And mustn't forget, Darren, the value of a good trainer giving you that advice to make those adjustments. Absolutely, yep, yeah. spot on. Not many better than Ricky Hatton. He knows everything. He knows the game inside out, doesn't he? And tactically sound. You know, you talk to Ricky. We spent some time with him, didn't we? Back in Manchester. Was it last time? Time before. But it was Anthony Crawley. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just talking to him off air. You know, he, it, we know how great he was in the ring. But, you know, he loves the sport. He knows it inside out. Tactically very, very, very sound. So, yeah, great for Nadim to be listening to him in the corner. And that was a good right hand. Boxing a lot better in this second round. He really is. And moving his head there. Instead of just keeping his hands up, he just rolled over the, the wild left hook of Nikolai. A lot better. Well, Nikolai evaded the left, didn't evade the right. Just having to hang on. Did that sting him momentarily with a minute 20 on the clock. And will Fiaz have sensed that? Just... Uh, just a sense that Nikolai starting to roll, just trying to evade shots. Was he just buzzed a little bit by perhaps an innocuous shot? Not always the big shots that hurt you, Darren. No. You can get cuffing blowed around the back of the head, on the side, and they really do scramble your, your senses. But this is good work, keeping it at range. It was a good little left hook went in from Nikolai there. Did. The team took it well. This is better. He's moving his feet, just keeping a bit of distance between him and Nikolai. Yeah, just he's got the longer longer arms, he's got that reach, he's got that height to use it. What well, he he's got to be a bit careful because he does carry his chin a little higher. When he does throw that jab, I've just seen it, it does sort of rise a little bit. And he's got to be careful, especially when you're, you're fighting someone like a Nicolo who does wing in big overhand, right hands. You need to make sure your chin's tucked down. So I think that's something that Ricky will work on, get the chin tucked down when you're throwing the jab. A better round from him in terms of the adjustments that are made. 20 seconds on the clock in round number two. Just fainting him backwards there. That's one thing that Nikolai has done. To take his feet out of range and try and take the sting out of those shots. Does so again, then just comes back in. He's quite springy, the uh, Romanian. Yeah. That was definitely, definitely a better round. Landed some good shots there. And that, was there, that passage there was exactly what he needs to do. Let your hands go. Tiny little step back or even lean back and, and then go again. Better work there. But all set, he sets it all up with that beautiful left jab that he has. So sometimes neglects it. And then we see the footwork there, just taking a step back. And when you've got someone as wild as Nikolai, your feet are, uh, are crucial to make a miss, come back with your own shots. Yeah, that was just the passage of play after he, uh, after he buzzed him with that right hand. But uh, Nikolai was game towards the end of the round two. few more seats being filled as I'm looking around. The real hardcores at this time <laughs> of the afternoon. <laughs> they are, yeah. Everyone else is still getting ready with their, <laughs> with their mates or, or perhaps in the pub, I don't know. But uh, certainly starting to fill up here. Two more on before the bell after this one. And we'll hand you over to uh, Sky Sports on Facebook. And then the TV broadcast, of course, starts on 7 live on Sky Sports and The Zone in the States. So where Nadim doesn't need to be, get away from the ropes, this is where you want to be. Holding the centre of the ring, you've always got that bit of space behind you, you can use your feet, make your opponent fall short and get back to the centre of the ring. Testament to, to, to Nikolai though, you know, he has uh, definitely had a winning mentality, hasn't he? You know, he's planted his feet, he's had some big wild shots go, certainly earning his money this evening. Just caught that long left hook on the uh, top of his right glove there. Nadine just comes in, pulls the right hand. These are the kind of tests that we've seen prospects in this evening so far that we want to see them in. Absolutely. Just a glancing right hand there from Nadine. Nikolai just dropping low, keeping that left hand invitingly low from Southpaw. Just trying to draw something out of his man too, making him think, which is good. So a little bit too late with his attack there, and the Deem. He took the step back. Nikolai fell short with his shots, but he just didn't react quick enough. 
Well, Nikolai on the two-phase attack there. Ricky Hatton saying to him, stay close, work him to the body there. And that's what he's doing. Nice combination yeah. there, just digging those short shots in. And again, if that was over the longer distance, just putting rounds in the bank as a stiff right hand mm. straight lands there. Do you see Nikolai, just the telltale signs, little yeah. bounce on the, on the toes. He felt that, just trying to get air in the lungs and a bit of feeling in the legs too. There's a bit of air of confidence around the team now and his, and his work, really letting his shots go with spite. Yeah, he's looking warmed better, up, isn't he? Yeah, he's looking better in close quarters now because he's, he's moving his head and he is taking the odd step step back. Yeah, just momentum building for, for Ibi Nadim nicely after uh, just a slow and steady couple of rounds against a very game opponent in Nikolai. Just holding his ground, digging him back upstairs as Nadim left his chin open as he went to the body. Nice combination there from the Dean. I think he needs to do a bit more sparring, the Dean, with uh, top class opponents, just to, to give you an idea of what what is necessary, what you need to be doing. You know, little tricks. I tell you, Carl Frampton will be joining us uh, in a few moments' time. He, he'll be after sparring partners soon. He's uh, looking to get out in the summer, trying to win a world title in a third weight division, we think, against Jamal Herring, and hopefully at Windsor Park. What an achievement that would be. Wow, I mean, what a career he's had. Um, love watching Carl, honestly. What, what a fighter. Um, been in some great, great fights. I mean, the Leo Santa Cruz fight was... It was, a, it was epic, wasn't it? What a win. The first what one, unbelievable. Win, yeah. Wonder whether they'll, uh, whether whether they'll ever do a third. Well, Carl, we joining the Same got on the Servi. Cross, mate. Servi, well, winning the summer may just send Santa Cruz up to uh, 130 pounds. But uh, right here, Ibn Adim's got uh, three more minutes to seal a win against uh, the game Stefan Nikolai. A little scrappy at times in that last round, but there was still some good work that went in. And I'll keep on, but he just needs to get behind that jab more. Set everything up. He's got them long levers. Use it. Ricky Atten has fully acknowledged that he's uh, he's raw and being moulded as we speak. You know, he's far from the uh, the finished article. must be you know good when you've got someone raw a basic novice if you like so you're basic you, you, you're in charge of shaping and molding that fighter style as opposed to you know getting a fighter that come, has come from another coach it's a bit long in the two if you know he's young willing to learn he is raw and it must be great for Ricky as a coach you know to, to shape him and, and teach him as much as he can He's getting caught with the left hand a little bit low there by the counter right hand and Nikolai steps in again. There's a jab. Everything, everything comes from the jab. See the right, he's just getting a good rhythm. He just stepped out before he threw it, didn't he? Took his head yep. off centre line, ripping to the body now. That was better, just rolling off those combinations. That's it. He's just growing into this fight, Dan. I just think perhaps a, a six-rounder may be a, a good thing for him. Yep. Like I say, learning on the job. Every single round is valuable for, for Nadim, especially against guys like Nikolai. You know, they are awkward. From for, for a viewer sat down watching this, you might think, well, it doesn't look nothing. You know, it doesn't look awkward, awkward at all. But he's already shown Nadim that he's, he's willing to throw big shots like he did there, the right hand. So you're always a little wa wary. And they just have this awkward, you know, style at times, a lot of journeymen. So it does help your development as a fighter, as I said earlier. So rounds are crucial for Nadim. And when he is loading up for that right hand, that's when he's struggling to find yeah. a home for it. Nikolai is seeing it really, really well. He just hooks him with the forearm there. And it's when he's just relaxed, letting him go fainting and using his jab where he's having a little bit more success. And again, all those lessons learned in a an important apprenticeship at this stage of your career. The great uh, fighter, nice. Carlos Monzon, 
He should do something really great. He should hold his left hand out there. He's already tall for dodge. So hold his le uh, left hand out there into the guard of his opponent for about a second. Then he'd detonate. He'd let the massive right hand go. He knocks out so many fighters using that. And I think it's something that Dean could use. Um, just hold it out there for a second. Try and blur the vision of your opponent and just come through. Because you know you're in range. You measure that gap. You measure the gap. Uh, yeah, Klitschko, another one, did it so well. Absolutely. Trying to sit down on a, a one-two there with just 15 seconds on the clock. You'll hear the clapper shortly. That was a nice right shot. hand there, but Nikolai took it well. Hasn't taken a back step. Monadine took a, a couple of rounds to just find his timing and range. When he has done, he's looked good in spurts, but certainly plenty to work on for the local fighter. Ricky Hatton will know that. He'll watch this back too and... He'll see the things and the mistakes he made, but also the successes that he had. There's good and bad in equal measure, and, well, always good to have things to work on. Oh, absolutely. You, you, you never stop. You never stop learning, and like he's got, like we say, he's got a great teacher in Ricky Hatton to, to help his development of the fight. Look, there's a lot to like. Absolutely. You know, when he... When, Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here in Manchester, referee Fernando Torres throwing line at the for your win. He's still on the field from Keith Lee, Ibrahim, Evie Nadim. Nice, nice round of applause for Stephen Nicolai.